and welcome to MGP 479. I'm Kevin. With me as ever, the Sheepdog, Anna and Pab. Say hello, boys and girls. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Well, that might be how we do it from now on. Say hi, boys and girls, around the table again. Hi. 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 Um, <laughs> I'm just getting a very strange text messages. Um, have you posted something on Facebook, female? I have. Um, you've got an extra person then. I've just had a text message. From? <laughs> just, uh, never you mind. Oh, random people. We can talk about, yeah, we can talk about this off the podcast, but, but as I don't use Facebook, it was a very weird thing for me to receive via text message. But uh, yeah, that's that sorted. Excellent. Anna's trying to recruit people for birthday parties, apparently. it's uh, there's, there's a madness going it's on. Like I'm just, got... It's just, it's two weeks away, and I'm just right. so upstairs looking at the list, and I just want to cry. I have told you to stop, because you've got a birthday party set aside for ten people. You have eight currently coming. The problem you've got is you've only bought eight miniature skateboards for the goodie bags. <laughs> you've promised me a goodie bag. Now, when I'm promised a goodie bag, I expect a top tier goodie bag that has one of each thing in it. If I don't have a miniature skateboard in my goodie bag, you're going to need to get the bus home. So you need to think very carefully before you start adding extra children to this party. You're you probably want... going to need to buy some extra skateboards. Why would you want a goodie bag? You're an adult. I told you when we first booked this party, one of my conditions was I get a goodie bag. No, you know you I didn't. like to be surprised by things. You know I love goodie bags. What do I always insist that we do at Christmas? What do we have to buy? Them awful Hawkins Bazaar <laughs> pre-filled stockings because they're basically a goodie bag. I make us all have one. You all hate them, but I love them because they're full of bits of tat that I love and play with all year. I love fingering skateboards. I will be getting one. If you have to disappoint a child, you have to disappoint a child. But I strongly recommend you stop adding numbers to this birthday party until you've dealt with the, the very serious skateboard issue that you've got with me. Before I met you, Kev, I, I honestly didn't... I, I couldn't think, couldn't imagine who Hawkins Bazaar appealed to. I was like, there is no one alive that this shop appeals to. How are it's they the staying open? It's the best shop in the world. I thought they were probably a crime syndicate that were just <laughs> using tat as a front to, you know, shovel whatever they're shoveling. They probably still are, but you are just like, oh, wow. You're just throwing money I spend at them. £100 with them every December because I buy five of those stockings. They're £20 each. They're pre-filled. They make Christmas, those pre-filled stockings. You know, if you leave an empty one out, Santa fills it. That is the point. No, I want a Hawkins Bazaar one. Santa's rubbish compared to Hawkins Bazaar. Mm. He knows nothing. Hawkins I, Bazaar is great. I thought they'd gone bust. I mean, they were one of those ones where I just assumed they they're not on the high street shop, anymore. But they're not, yeah, they're not in the high street, but they, um, yeah, they used they to. They sell emu puppets and slime and uh, hoverboards and those little rubber things that you can put your fingers in, and it looks like a scrunched up old man's face. See, my mum's friend used to get us the worst gifts growing up. And again, I didn't know this shop existed at this point. And when I first stepped in one, I was like, she shops. To be fair, I knew she shopped there. I'm, I'm saying I didn't, couldn't imagine who else did, but she did. And when I realised that was the source of it all, that was what started my hate. Because she used to get the, all those things you listed. I'm like, yep, yeah. used to get tat like that for birthdays and just be like, what? what? Yeah, they're brilliant. <laughs> they're not. They're awful. You no, and that person are All those things up. are fantastic. Or whatever whoopee they're cushions. doing behind the scenes to keep the doors open. multiple different sized whoopee cushions in there. I could spend hours in that shop just playing with everything. And then I'd still want to bring it all home. It's probably the weirdest paid sponsorship. <laughs> just me cruising the playing <laughs> the criminals. They must be breaking the law and you just like, they're they, It's because they know the I'm the Santa. influencer. So people are going <laughs> to go with what I say. I want to be cool like Kev. He's got a full head of hair. We'll, we'll go to Hawkins Bazaar. Oh, God. Don't, um, if you shop, don't shop at Hawkins Bazaar, you go bald. That's the We've said it's like deal. Mac and PC, your Mac and PC. I'm there going, you know, the Macs aren't worth the money. And you're just there in your sports car with your hair going, what's that? Yeah, I can't hear you exactly. over my rock music and coolness. Sheepdog doesn't want uh, an excellent stocking full of fun things because he's too busy being bald. That's what it is. Ugh. Ugh. And anyway, Anna, stop inviting people to parties unless you've got an extra box of skateboards. I'm looking for them now. Good. And I want—I I don't want your cheap 
making up the numbers extra skateboards. I'll know. I'll be checking the goodie bags. I want one of the good skateboards. Just get the man a skateboard he can stand on or something. Yeah, I've got several mini. Himself. I've got several finger skateboards already in my office. I love them. I don't know why they're great. Wants more. Because the ones I've got at the moment, I'm not allowed to play with because they're still in the boxes because they're specific wrestler ones. Why do wrestlers have finger skateboards? Because uh, it's just the extra wrestler stuff you can get. Every three months, I get sent a box of wrestler things. I've got wrestler bottle openers. I've got wrestler car air fresheners and wrestler finger skateboards, amongst other wrestler-themed pieces of merchandise. Why would you want your car to smell like a wrestler? This seems it even worse. It, smell, it smells like a pine forest, but it has a picture of Orange Cassidy on it. Does he smell like a pine forest? I've never smelled orange, Cassidy, so I wouldn't know. He probably does. Next time you go somewhere where there's wrestlers, give him a sniff. Oh, no, I'm always sniffing wrestlers. Love it. Love giving them a good old sniffing. They usually smell of Vaseline. Maybe he uses pine Vaseline. Maybe this is another promo we're doing. <laughs> the new pine <laughs> Vaseline. Available now in all good Vaseline stores. Yeah. I've, got, I've got lots of Vaseline from when I tore my bum hole. The house is full of the stuff. I mean, what good would that do? Surely that just makes the hole slipperier. I mean, yeah, it's I'm just, confused. Yeah, it's to ease the turds out so you don't keep re-tearing yourself. I mean, without going into too much detail, if you're trying to squeeze a big solid log out of a tiny, partly torn area, best thing you can do is grease that thing up, surely. I would have assumed you'd sew it shut and, you know, stick with what one is, hole. I mean, how sewing... What you mean? I don't understand... <laughs> I'm d I'm, this is I'm why you'll never make it this. as a surgeon. Uh, I just assumed you'd repair the hole, not not grease it up. I don't no, know. you just have to let the hole repair itself. It heals naturally. There's no healing it. You can't have bum surgery. The wonders of Vaseline. I mean, yeah, available in all good Vaseline sh sh shop. I can't even say it. I mean, Shots. I only needed to buy it because Anna threw away my perfectly good Vaseline that I it's used to have. It's been in the window for 10 years. It was my leaving present from the Norwich and Peter <laughs> Building Society in 2002. Does it go they off? They bought me a massive tub of Vaseline. No, it doesn't go off. I had a massive thing of pound shop <laughs> own brand Vaseline that I knew was going to last me for the rest of my life. And I went to use it about five years ago. Anna, where's my Vaseline? I chucked it away. No. What are you I, chucking on, my Vaseline on, away hold on, for? Hold on. That is a lie because I chucked it away as we were leaving that week. Why? Because it had been in the window for 10 years. It's warming because, up. It was keeping yeah, it loose. Every now and again when I needed to grease something up, I'd have a little dab out of it. It was massive. <laughs> Vaseline doesn't go off. Don't throw Vaseline away, kids. But also, like apparently, that. put it on holes. They heal quicker. Aren't they? Yeah, you can use it. You can use it on your lips. You can use it on your bum hole. You can use it. Basically, <laughs> sounds like a jingle now. Yeah, um, you can grease anything up with Vaseline that you need to stretch. There's going to come a time I'm going to need that information. I'm lucky to say I haven't needed it so far, but one day I'm going to be like, ah, my ass. <laughs> I'm just going to think of you. <laughs> and I'm going to, like, like lights are going to come on above me, and I'm going to be like, ah. Yeah, it um, won't just happen. Be it. It'll be what I mean. You, it, you're probably less likely to be afflicted by this as a vegetarian. But if you ever have a particularly stubborn turd, you might just find it, you tear yourself a second bum hold, and then you will need gasoline. Like eat a stick or something when I'm eating a tree, you know. Yeah, happen, exactly. You probably get enough fibre with your uh, vegetarian hippie lifestyle. Always yeah, chewing it's protein on fibres. Is the issue. I have to buy a protein and eat it. It's, it's, protein's weird to just buy. It's, it feels weird eating a lump of protein. Although you should uh, get you should get some of the protein cereal I've been eating. Again, we're not sponsored <laughs> by Magic Spoon, unlike every other podcast out there. But I have bought some, and it is nice. I was about to go into an advert for vegetarian pepperamis, and you've got into an advert for cereal. <laughs> what have we become? Look, but, um... we've been talking before this <laughs> podcast started that we're trying to finance the return of Best Thing From. If we can't do a hundred thousand pound Kickstarter to pay for a film crew, perhaps we just need to start filling this podcast with adverts all the way through. Pabby, from now on, we're not going to throw to an advert after half an hour. Half an hour in, we're going to do thirty seconds of video game content and then get back into the adverts for the rest of the podcast. Okay. We're, we're switching this bad boy on its head, so be ready with a thirty-second game <laughs> summary. Meanwhile, me and Sheepdog have got shilling to do. Yeah. Sure something cheap. Well, no, these these veggie pepperamis are pretty good. They're they're my main source of protein. Now I I, I just 
rip one out of the packet and eat it. Jobs are good. And back on my day, bit of corn maybe. All good. Yeah. Doesn't rip my bum either. So that my was, Vaseline uh, patches are down. Dog's Guide to Being a Vegetarian. Eat pepper armies. Easy peasy. Splendid. Um, other than uh, pepper army munching and Anna <laughs> trying to ruin birthdays for people. Who is um, ruining birthdays? Are you trying to take my skateboard off me? This is I've mine bought, and his uh, joint I've, birthday party. I've bought an extra 12. Excellent. <laughs> That's too many, Anna. <laughs> no, it's not, because I've already, I've already said I'll happily take the leftovers. I sent her links to loads of things I'd like to see in my goodie bag. You only have 10 fingers, though. Yeah, but I'll, bre I'll break them. I am rough with them. Yes, but Kevin, what you don't understand is some of the things you sent me are not good for people who eat things. I didn't propose you gave them to anybody else. <laughs> I want them in my goodie bag. <laughs> I'm not buying 10 stretchy men just for you. I told you this. But I really like stretchy men. Okay. I have extra ones upstairs that Andrew has never touched because he Why do you have stretchy them. men upstairs? Because they come in like these massive tubs of fidget let's, toys. Sheepdog, let's not pretend you don't like a stretchy man on occasion. <laughs> stretchy men are great. These aren't the things you lob to your ceiling and they stick to it, are they? No, they're... No, they're, they're sticky men, you moron. They're, <laughs> they're <laughs> stretchy men. They're yellow and they are just very stretchy, but because of what they're made of, Andy will eat them. They're really stretchy. They are really stretchy. I have got a stretchy Roman Reigns that was my birthday present from my brother two years ago. I don't know where, where he is currently. So I'll have, off, <laughs> I'll have an off brand stretchy man. Uh, probably, I mean, it's my birthday on Sunday. He's probably checking the middle aisle at Lidl for wrestling figures again. <laughs> so he can get me something really special for my 40th. Little Lidl plug there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Got to get the Lidl. It might have been Audi, actually. They're both really great. Pab, I'm expecting you to send the invoices out for all these, these ads. No, I'm doing. not. The sheepdog's the person who sends out the invoices. I just edit. I mean, I am tempted to just fire off an invoice and see if anyone replies. Do you know what I mean? Like, what would they do if I just looked for, I don't know, procurement at Lidl.com? That's probably the email address, really. Um, just email them going, here's your invoice for that promo we did. And they'll be like, what promo? I'll be like, oh, it's here. Which, yeah, which I mean, that, LinkedIn. This, this probably would work. I'll just say, on, I'll go on LinkedIn, type in uh, marketing manager. Oh, look, it's Dave. Okay, yeah, I spoke to Dave in marketing. He signed it off. We, we spent hours on that. It was it was five grand. As someone who deals with these things on a regular basis, some of my most long-standing sponsorships are from companies where I just said, I'd really like a free one of those, and it's turned into something excellent. So maybe maybe that's what we should do. Can I have a free stretchy Roman Reigns, please? <laughs> See if it turns into a, a long-standing relationship where we get to talk about the excellent... Uh, pastry section that you get in every Lidl superstore as you walk in. It really does set the tone. I mean, I have got a good relationship trip. with Lidl because uh, I I went to bat for them in the town where uh, it was like Lidl v Audi. They lost, so I backed the losing horse there, sadly. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, they did send me an email thanking me for my efforts in trying to help them get here. Um, well, there you go then. Mature Gamer Podcast brought to you by Lidl. That should be a thing. should be. Um, I thought, just to go on a completely another tangent, because, you know, we haven't got enough of them so far. I thought I was having a heart attack yesterday because uh, I had really bad pains down my left side of my uh, arm and, and chest. But it was because I'd been carrying a hoover around, trying to hoover a thousand tiny little midgy fly things off of my ceiling. I don't know whether you saw me panicking about it on social media. <laughs> I but, saw, uh, yeah. I need uh, to check several of the details of this nonsense. Why are you hoovering up midges? What are you doing? There were so many of them. My window, I put my window open I don't in the morning. think hoovering them is the right way to deal with them. So what would you have done to get rid of them? Not add them in the first place. Do you not clean? Do you not, do you not take the rubbish out? Where they all come from? So as I was about to explain, I opened the window to my office to let some air in. And uh, I'm a bit confused, actually, because my son was in and out throughout the day. And he was leaning in the window at one point watching passers-by and stuff like that. And he never mentioned that there was an army of creatures on the windowsill. But when I went to shut the window about two hours later, I was like, oh, God, there's a lot of little midges here. So I started, like, swatting them out the window. And then I looked at the curtain from behind the curtain, and there was, like, hundreds of them on there. And uh, I started panicking and thinking, right, I need to sort this out. And then I went and got the hoover thing, and I'll just hoover them off the curtain. I can't really, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do here. And as I kind of came in, I looked up, and they were just all over the ceiling. There's, like, a, my ceiling has, like, this indented bit above the the window and then the rest of it's all 
it's like there's like a step and then there's another ceiling bit all the way along and the the indented bit was just covered in them it was ridiculous and i, just, I hoovered them up and i ended up like getting cloth uh, like a, a wet paper towel and just wiping them off the wall and they're all just sticking to the water and i just kept doing that um i if i was getting experience off a of uh, so like a pokemon or a um video game character i'd have leveled up a couple of times the amount of creatures i murdered yesterday it was ridiculous but uh, after cleaning it all up my arms were killing me and then about yeah four hours later i was like i've either pulled a muscle carrying that around or i'm having a heart attack because my, my shoulder and arm were aching so much it was very uncomfortable um my, my i'm not sure if it's a heart attack you tend to get some pain in in the heart region as well, well it was like yeah it was from arm. like the heart down to my left arm around that sort of whole area but that's because that was where you know all, all the muscles involved in holding up my shark hoover available in all good hoover outlets um but no my sons as well being absolute swines declared today that they were back <laughs> made me absolutely brick it <laughs> and they were just were they joking. crawling out of the hoover that you didn't you empty? should get some i think lavender makes them go away if you plant some lavender near windows um, i mean uh, yeah, 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 the problem wasn't there the last time he came outside our house is like the biggest lavender bush um, oh, okay. not in the world but you know we, we've not had Guinness in to confirm it but I'm guessing that's not I mean it's far enough away that maybe they are avoiding the lavender by coming in here but uh, I can't open my window anymore so I'm dying of heat today because I've not had a window get open some, all day get some net in then yeah, get a I, bug thing you can get them off Amazon the window closed it's too Dying hot of heat. Heaven. It is too hot. I've Awful. had my fan on. My fan's terrible. I need a good fan seller to shill. But uh, no, I mean, there were thousands of these buggers and it was ridiculous. And I like text my wife about it, sent her a picture and she just was, she came home completely indifferent. And I was like, I should have just <laughs> left them. I should have just left them. She could have dealt with it. She could have seen how terrible it was. Like, at least the boys were throwing cushions into the sky, into the ceiling, sorry, trying to just smush them. I was like, don't do that. And I have to hoover the floor as well as the ceiling. Um, but they were just running around trying to smush them, which I thought, again, was going to cause issues because it would have been all over the ceiling and splattered. But uh, I can't see any at the moment. I had a few land on me throughout the day where I guess they've just been the odd one roaming about. What I was most worried about is last time we had any come in the house at all, they somehow made their way into the back of the monitor and were just on the screen, just wiggling around the bottom of the screen. I thought I had a virus or something. You know, when you sort of have something crawling you know, a bug crawls across your screen because something's happened or something's been installed it was doing that and then i realized it was actually a real bug that had just gone underneath the bloody screen but luckily this time they've not done it i've had that happen on every monitor i've ever owned and my tvs as well these little cheeky oh, things that would got annoy me on the tv yeah exactly oh. i thought we had a dead pixel and then i realized it was moving <laughs> hey. just, good to say. um but it yeah, I had to have a word of Ollie because last time that happened, he, he threw something at the TV and killed the bug. And I was like, now it's there forever. But <laughs> I'm guessing it either crawled away or, or just disappeared or whatever. But it's not there anymore. Um, but now I'm being attacked by a daddy long legs, which is just flying around the room. And I can't really do anything because if I open the window, I'm going to get inundated with these midges. So I'm just stuck. I'm under attack. And I don't know what to do, really. This Lavender, I guess. This this episode's uh, Sheepdog's Insect News segment, which is... <laughs> A new feature on the podcast for this week. <laughs> well, I always have some shenanigan going on, and this just happened to be my, my ridiculous story of the week. Excellent. Um, talking of uh, people being geniuses, which is what I was thinking about while you were talking, um, I have rediscovered a little game called FIFA this week, FIFA 22, um, and realised that I have inadvertently been a genius, because as you all know... Um, I spend a lot of money on FIFA when it first comes out. I like to buy a lot of packs. I open a lot of packs. I spend the money on a lot of players. And I like to build a super team when the game first comes out because that way I can win for a few weeks until everyone else builds a super team the proper way. Um, and then once I start losing, I stop playing. But Kev, genius of the past this year, was apparently in such a grumpy when he stopped playing this year that rather than stopping playing, I sold all my team. And then stopped playing. But I sold all my team back when they were still October prices. So when I logged back into FIFA this week, I had an absolute ton of money to spend, <laughs> at, like in-game currency. And because it's no longer October and November, it's July, the prices are rock bottom. So where I sold a team, that, well, I'm talking about having a good team back then, I had like, 
had Lukaku up front. I was very excited that I had Lukaku. I just came back in, and for the price of what I would have sold Lukaku for, I bought myself uh, a De Bruyne, an Mbappe, and a Cristiano Ronaldo. And I'm like, yeah, that'll do. I'll have a bit of that. And I've just gone out and bought a new team that is absolutely chock full of superstars. It is the best FIFA team I've ever had. And I've, I've still got coins left over here. I generally don't know what to buy now. I have a FIFA, FIFA super team. I'm currently, as I'm talking, dancing around somebody with Cristiano Ronaldo, having a lovely old time of it. <laughs> I've got Mbappe on my bench ready to come on if I need him. This is, I am living the life here. This is how to play FIFA. Spend all your money in November, don't touch it, and then go back to it when everyone else has stopped playing and everything's cheap. I'm a genius. Wow. That's FIFA 22 is the game I reviewed for. <laughs> and it is excellent. Um, is that other still than coming that, out next year? This year, I mean. yeah. FIFA FIFA 23 is coming out as normal, and then next next time round is unless they sort out the licensing issue, which seems unlikely, it's going to be EAFC for 2024. What? So no names? FIFA. No. Uh, well, they'll probably still have the names of the players because they're separate licenses. All they're actually losing by losing the FIFA license is the right to call the game FIFA and FIFA competitions. So basically the World Cup. So they won't be able to have the World Cup in it and they won't be able to have... They won't be able can to they call, call it like FIFA. the Mundial or something like that? I don't know if I pronounced that right. They can, call it, they can call it whatever they want as long as it's not infringing a FIFA license. Uh, there's, there's the possibility that UEFA still go with them and they could like put the Euros in and just have the Euros in there as a replacement. Have the Nations League in there. Do whatever they want, really. Uh, but all the licenses for all the teams and all the players are handled separately anyway. They're not part of the FIFA license. The only thing that comes into the FIFA license is the naming rights of FIFA and the stuff FIFA owns, which is just the World Cup, basically. So it's going to make very little difference to how the game actually is. I hope because they, um, all the licenses are done separately anyway. I hope they do FIFA dirty by calling their, their like little in-between game Qatar 2022 and just have all the players, because they don't own the names of the countries, do they? So they could easily have England with Kane and everyone playing in oh, Qatar. Not if, they don't have, not if they don't have the licenses. Well, I guess they could for the World Cup specifically, because yeah. I imagine that all comes under the license. Because they used to release uh, FIFA World Cup They probably Cup wouldn't be able to use the player licenses. Like the player likenesses, I doubt they'd be able to use, um, because they're they're likely to be owned under separate licensing agreement. Hmm. And Surely plus, the agreement hmm. doesn't start until after the World Cup anyway. So FIFA 23 is still coming out as normal. Ah, okay. So the World Cup will be part of that. I'm just thinking, yeah, if they are basically I was, FIFA have lost their damn minds. <laughs> it is bizarre. They've just decided they don't like money anymore. That's all it is. They think they. Get, they think they're going to be able to create a version of the game that's going to sell as well as FIFA traditionally does. But in actual fact, all they're doing is making sure that the EA game comes out as normal and is no different from what it normally is. And they've got 18 months to try and figure out how to do it in a world where Pez is a joke and there's no other option available. Now, I wouldn't be at all surprised if they realised just how big a task they've got on their hands and it's all resolved and FIFA just carries it on as normal. I don't think EA are panicking at all. I think they know they've got the other hand. They've seen <clears throat> when it all happened 15 years ago between Sports Interactive and, and uh, IDOS, when the championship manager name was kept by IDOS, who owned it at the time. Sports Interactive took everything else to Sega, i.e. the game. And what do you know? Football manager's the one that's still around 15 years later and no one remembers championship manager anymore. People will just go with the game that's good. They don't care about the name. It's been proven. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? I, I've, I have wondered because a few people have gone, "It won't be the same," and I'm like, "It will be." <laughs> it will, be it will exactly literally be exactly the same. Yeah, you call it Bob, and it'll be the same. I mean, you could even you considering could... most people play Ultimate Team anyway, so you don't even need the World Cup and Ultimate Team. You literally just need the players, and they're going to have all the players. It, Ultimate Team will be no different at all. Well, I just literally never played it, so I'm just nodding along, going, "Cool, <laughs> good for you." Oh, Ultimate Team is cool. That's what. But you've never played right FIFA. I played FIFA, but I'm terrible at it. I've never played Ultimate Team. Mm. You've not lived. Uh, I'm like not into like stickers. Yeah, I, I, I don't like stickers. So disgust me. 
Daddy. Everything about him disgusts me. Sometimes you just say things and you realise what a damn idiot you are. Oh. Uh, I mean, I, I don't mind a sticker that has a place to go in a book. That makes sense. I don't Ooh, like Oh, talking of stickers, I got the ditto out of the oh. Pokemon Go set. Oh, I saw a video of these. Not one of yours, I might add. Um, but I didn't realise this was like a full-on, the card comes apart. I thought it was yeah, a tiny little thing in the peel. corner. No, you I mean, peel the thing off of it and there's a ditto underneath. That almost makes me feel... You know, last week I was saying, why would they do it like that? You surely just want a perfect card. I feel worse knowing you have to pull a whole thing off the front of it. It feels it feels almost dirty because the, the idea is the card's got to be pristine to be worth anything. Well, I got, I got two of the same one. So I have one that I've peeled so that I can have it in the binder and have the set complete. It's the only way to get a ditto. You can't get the ditto without peeling and you need a ditto to complete your set. So I've got one that is peeled and I have the same card that I know is a ditto because it's got the little ditto symbol on, uh, which has been left unpeeled. So I have both versions, peeled so and unpeeled. Has there never been a ditto card before now? Yeah, but with Pokemon Go, they've just done it like this. Oh, which right, is okay. cool. Because yeah, in no, Pokemon cool. Go, you can't just catch a ditto, can you? The only way you can get one is by catching something else first. Um, which is the, the thought process I mean, that, behind it. Yeah, that is true. I think they have had it on its own before when they built the shiny out but uh, no I'm being a bit technical there but that was the thought process because that's how you get dittos in Pokemon Go that's how you have to do it in the Pokemon Go set so I think it's very clever can it be with any Pokemon no there's only three that it can be in. apparently it's the three that are in the set that can be dittos in Pokemon Go so I know Bidoof is one yeah, because I've got a Bidoof in the, uh, um, and I think there's two more but it is it's the <laughs> The only three that are in the set that can be dittos in Pokemon Go are the three that can be dittos in the card set as well. So they have actually put some thought into it. I'm going to have to go good. look at my set now. I was uh, rather delighted earlier that uh, Matt Quine messaged me saying, uh, I don't need these codes, you can have them. So I popped some codes into Pokemon Go. Oh, yeah, I've got loads of codes for you. The Japanese ones get a code card in every pack. Um, oh, wow. So, yeah, I've got loads of Pokemon Go cards for you. I was telling Matt about that earlier when he was telling me he'd sent you codes. Oh, right. <laughs> um, but no, they were quite decent. So I'll just have a quick look what it was. I, I, it was like candy and um, uh, stickers, ironically. Um, random berries, uh, TMs. Decent stuff. Dec- you know, just I, I gave all the candy to a Pokemon that I was trying to evolve. So he'd done me a bit of a favour there because I was just like, um, I realised I needed to evolve this Pokemon. I'm going to do now because I've got the game open while I'm checking it I'm going to evolve it another one in the set sorted I didn't have this Pokemon and I'd forgotten that I needed it's candy so yeah I might rename it Matt in honour of the man as you should <laughs> um, and that aside the only other thing I've done this week is uh, playing the streamer showdown with Covid and it was a farce because they gave work the space Erling Haaland and then he won so the whole thing was a fix Work the space champion asterisk. Is that his first win? Yeah, it his only win. Well, it does mean that the network game maintains its record of having won more than half of the streamer showdowns between the four of us. I say between the four of us. Between <laughs> the three of us who've now won one. Uh, but yeah, we, uh, we dominate the network game, the dominant faction in competitive football manager play, having won more than half of the streamer showdowns between us. It's been but I'm ever very generously turn saying that. No. It's, he's, uh, I, I imagine he'll claim he's doing it on purpose. <laughs> Losing on purpose because it's so funny. It does seem like it's, a, it's becoming a bit, surely. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> well, when they randomly allocated the wild cards and I got Joshua Kimmich and um, Jack got uh, Erling Haaland and someone else got um, Lewandowski, uh, Ben got uh, Berghaus of Ajax as his wild wild card, and at that point it was like, well, yeah, you guys don't give up and go home. Uh, <laughs> Call it a day. When, when, when his face came up on the random selector, we were all like, I don't know who that is. It looks looks a bit like Fernando Torres, but I think he's retired. No one even knew who this guy was. It was brilliant. When your wild card comes up and no one even knows what he is by looking at his face, that's when you know you're probably not winning the showdown that weekend. Bless him. Well, I, I didn't get to see this one. I, I don't know what I was doing. What was I doing? It doesn't Wasting matter. your time. I was. Been watching the showdown. That's what yeah, you're doing. I missed it. I think that well, was luckily, the night. There's highlights videos on Lulu Show too. You can go and watch them on there. Lucky you. I decided uh, a band I like were doing like a benefit show in America on Sunday. 
And I decided I was going to watch it. I was going to stay up. I was going to watch it. I was going to watch the whole thing. It was going to be a big stupid idea where I bought Monster and I was just going to go to work and live off the, the fumes of Monster all day. And uh, <coughs> missed your thing because I didn't think about watching that to sort of start the evening and, and, and whatever. And just sat down and this is segueing into a game talk. I started playing Hollow Knight um, because there's lots of challenging stuff. I realized... Um, so someone I know completed the game. I've just hundred percented the game, and I looked, and I was like, "How, how have they got to a hundred percent in like thirty hours?" And I'm only at eighty percent, fifty hours in. I was obviously fannying around because been failing at the bosses and stuff. But then, because I kept failing at the bosses uh, before uh, last Friday before the uh, podcast, someone said to me, "They're like, you realize you're playing the game basically on like super hard mode because you're doing the hardest boss, but you haven't." powered up your your nail your little sword thing you haven't got all the charms you're, you're about four notches which are like that you need a notch to put a charm on so i i was carrying less charms because i didn't have all the notches they were like you don't have all the health you can get you don't have all the power you can get <laughs> they were like what are you thinking why are you trying to do you know you're getting sort of uh you know four fifths of the way through this 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 challenge without all that so like imagine how good you could do if you went and got all those things like i'm doing them with those things they've done them with those things all of us who've done it did it with the tools and i'm like oh i didn't know that i just thought i was rubbish at the game i just just because i inherently assume i'm not very good at stuff i just assumed i was failing because i wasn't very good at it not because i hadn't done any of the previous effort or work um so i sat there and did that i basically went and found all the charms uh, went and did all these other bosses when I did all these ridiculously challenging tasks and I got to about half two in the morning I uh, I watched considering the band I know and like with the headline band I watched six random acts that I've literally never heard of knew none of the songs of had no real need to sit and watch them I just sat and watched them because I was playing the game waiting for this other band and while they were setting up their set I thought what am I doing <laughs> <laughs> it's really late it's like half two in the morning and i'm already getting tired how am i going to sit for a whole live show so i asked them whether they were going to be airing uh whether it's available on youtube afterwards and they were like yeah it'll be available in the morning so i was like i'll go to bed then i'll see you later um, so i stopped playing and then when i got up the next day they haven't released it so i haven't got to see it so i basically stayed up till half two in the morning for no other reason than to play hollow Knight at this point i feel like such a moron apparently it will come out eventually but i still haven't seen it a week on um, I think they're just going to assume I'll forget about it. But I am like, I really need to see this now because I've burnt so much time. But uh, I then fired up Hollow Knight up the next time I wanted to play it. And I got straight to the end of... I mean, I still failed the final boss of this, this thing called Pantheon 1. It's like a challenge where they have 10 bosses back to back and you have to kill them without any kind of breaks in between. Um, it's a bit of a gauntlet type thing. And the, I got to the last one every time now, but it's just a bit... I don't know the patterns <coughs> on it. Once you learn the patterns, you can do it. So I failed that like five times. And then I thought, right, I'll go do something else. I started doing other challenges and other bits and bobs. I'm up to, I think I was at 98% on the score thing. And I thought, I've got to do two more things and I'm there. And then I did one, one thing along the way. But because it involved handing over a charm to this character, I'm now, I've lost a percent. So now I've got to do another thing to get that up. I think I'm at 98, 99% now. So I need to do one more thing to 100% here. But then there's an extra 12% of DLC stuff I can do. Um, but... I know you were in my stream earlier today. I don't know how much of it you were really watching because you were too busy pitching. Absolutely none. <laughs> pitching TV shows at me for the entire stream. <laughs> um, but there's this place in it called the White Palace, which I thought... When I, so to get one of the charms, you have to get half of it from one place and half from this White Palace. And I thought, oh, that sounds quite simple. Go to the altar, get the piece, blah, blah, blah. Went in there. And there's freaking chainsaws everywhere just whizzing around the screen and there's spikes everywhere and there's all these things jumping up and down. And none of that's been in any other part of this game at all. There's no map. There's no instructions. There's no idea of what to do. And I was just like, okay, I'm going to get YouTube up and I'm going to see what they do. So in their video, they went left and it looked hard. So I thought, I, well, I went to go that way, and then I thought, actually, I see what's over here. And because it, because it looked like they did that bit second and it took up much more of the video i thought well i'll do that one first while i'm on my own i'll just do the hard bit first so i, I, I spent like an hour and a half doing this this what <clears> i thought was the hard bit 
failing over and over again. I mean, I kept dying and then suddenly realized that everybody else again was using the right tool for the job and I wasn't. So I put the right tool in. That was the, the, when I kept saying I'm waiting for the honey to harden and you kept telling me to stop waiting for the honey and just dive in or whatever you kept saying. That's always been your problem. Stop waiting for the honey. Yeah, you're always waiting for the honey to harden. <laughs> just take the plunge. There was a Let's move. Go traveling. There was a move to let you regenerate your most recent lost piece of health. So if I got hit once, I could stand still, wait for the honey to harden again and then carry on. But if I let the, hard, the, the honey stay soft, I'd keep losing health and I'd die. So. Once I put that on, I was able to do this challenge quite easily. And I thought, well, I'll save the easy one for the stream. I'll go into the stream and I'll just spend half an hour doing the easy part. I finished that at about, I was about what, an hour and 40 minutes into the stream when I finally finished it. But I was, there was points where I was looking at it thinking, I don't know if it saves here. I don't know if I have to be at a save point like a bench to save the game or whether it will just save where I am. I, I've got to do the podcast at 10. I'm stuck in this room that I can't get out of. I I can't I can't bring myself to turn it off because I don't think I could redo any of the bits I've done. Like it involved kind of jumping over a chainsaw, flicking the the nail at the right time to bounce in a certain direction, doing this like wing jump into this gap, bouncing off a wall, then doing wall jumps all the way up it, and then timing your jumps right to avoid spikes, going under and over spikes, and all this nonsense. And every single room I went in, I was I'd, I'd think right, I did it. I can't believe I did it. I'm such a legend. And then the next room, I'd be like, oh my god i can't do this this looks horrific and then i'd go through the same process again and again and uh yeah by the end of that stream i, I i'm spent i'm i was really really hot from the room but i am knackered <laughs> i didn't think i was gonna sleep very well tonight but i'm gonna sleep well having done that and that's not even the hardest bit in that building there's a place called the path of pain that's like a challenge that people can do um i might check it out for a laugh at some point but i ain't doing it in anger i, ain't do I don't think you get a percentage point for doing it or anything like that but uh, I'm really at this point now. I mean, someone come in and said, uh, Diav come in the, the chat and was like, God, when I first watched you play this, you were failing to beat like one of the early game bosses over and over again. And they weren't that hard. And <laughs> now you're bouncing around this room, like avoiding chainsaws and whatever. Like you actually got pretty good at this. And I'm like, it is, it is cool. I love that's That's why the game's really good because you do skill up on it really well. And suddenly you look like you're really good at it. Um, but I am convincing myself it's probably not as hard as I think it is because I'm suddenly getting good at it. I can't decide. I don't think there's a hardness setting to make it harder. I think you can make it that you could try and do the whole game with one health and if you get hit, you die. But uh, I ain't going to do that. I, I, I genuinely don't think I have it in me to get that one done. But I am hooked on trying to do all these challenges and the feeling of absolute pain and dread the first time and then the, oh, it's starting to click kind of feeling is great. And then the feeling of doing it is awesome. I'm kind of chasing that high of succeeding I've, I, I plan on doing the, the the pantheon gauntlet thing again on sunday i reckon i'll beat it I'm, i reckon i'll beat it pretty quick because i was smashing it the last time i did it i just needed to get the last bits right and then there's like th four more of them that get like increasingly more ridiculous and brutal as you go um i think i said last week one of them's like 52 56 battles long um and uh, I, I i can't see me getting very far with that especially now but i'd love to i'd love to fast forward six months and be like bloody hell i actually know how to do that i don't think i'd do that on stream because it would take forever but be, no, knowing that potentially i could practice and be able to do it in a, in a month or two whatever um that at that point i think i could consider myself a pretty good gamer which i, I never do and I never have been but i reckon if i could do it i'd feel pretty solid i feel like that's a, that's a, a high enough bar to feel like i could try and aim for it and see how i get on but um, yeah, that is that is the main thing I've been playing this week. I've probably played more Pokemon Go this week than normal because they put a, uh, a quest thing in um, one of their you know usual events that they do. They're adding a few more in, but still keeping it on the down low. Um, I don't think there's been anything else that I've touched. I've, I'm, I'm a bit hooked on Hollow Knight. You might have guessed it's just kind of been a bit of an obsession. But I'm really enjoying it. And yeah, if you if you still haven't <coughs> played it because I recommended it, for God's sakes, play it. No, it looks horrible. It's hard. Nope. nope. <laughs> it is hard. Hab, put mm -hmm. an advert in quickly, post haste, preferably for Lidl. <laughs> oh, that was a great advert, Pabby. Now you have permission to talk about video games. You mean? Oh, Anna. I'm not, I'm not fussed. Whoever wants to. I mean, don't act like it was a surprise that someone's asking you to talk about games. That is what you're here for. Well, I'll go first because I've been very sick this week. Okay. I also had the COVID uh, and so oh. did Andrew. So a lot of time of resting, so not a lot not a lot of time of 
gaming, but um, yesterday I was feeling better, and I was set just looking at my case, and I was like, right, what, what can I play? What haven't I finished yet? What can I put in and play? So I went through my case, I looked for whatever, and I picked up Watch Dogs Legion <clears throat> again. Um, so this came out when we moved in, so what, 20... 20, I want to say? I think so, yeah. Um, and I haven't finished it, uh, so I popped it in, I restarted it again just to get the gist of the, um, of the, of the controls, because like I've said, with all games, adults need just a refresh of how to, <laughs> how to do things in these games, it's quite simple, like, I got it, went back to my save, I only had like, two missions and I'd finished the game. Um, oh good. Yeah, it. Good. I play as like the ending was a bit meh, and I was like, oh well, oh that, oh okay. But I was like, yeah. okay, yeah, it was a bit meh. But I finished it, and when you finish it, it is like there is a sad bit in it. You know, like, oh no, that's not, that's not good. And then, um, you can one of your like your part friends but one of your team dies and then there's a way to like bring them back and it's all like a it's all good and it's all fun but i, I really didn't like the what i was playing i really enjoyed it again just going back going around london just like going oh, i've been there that's bodine's we go down there mm-hmm. and that's where starbucks is and then down there we go to tesco and we sit outside where all the boys go in the tesco under the bridge we did that once yeah but i don't know why but i just i remember (laughs) that that is like stuck in my brain and i don't know why i just remember that that tesco it was just i don't know it's weird but i enjoy it because like it's a place i've like with the other watchdogs and with other games i haven't been there but with this i have been to london i know these places so like i know if I go here, like if I go to Victoria, that will get me near the the palace and Buckingham Palace. And if I go to Waterloo, I'm near the um, what's the thing called the big wheel. So I'm getting, I'm knowing my way around London. Like I know if I go to Tower Hill, I can get to the, where, where Bodine's is and stuff. So yeah, I really really enjoy that. And then um, there is like, is it like post? game post finish game there's more to do when you finish the game so i like mm. the fact that they've thought of that that there is stuff to do afterwards and like at one point i was like because it's a ubisoft game and it's set in this universe the assassins are st- here in that universe and then at one point i was in assassin's creed and it was it was mad it was really mad but it was really good like i really enjoyed it um, so I, f- I finished that. I've now gone on to Bloodlines, which is a... So, f- you know, P.S. from the first one. He has now come to London and he's, like, doing a mission in London. Um, and Wrench oh, is right, all, yeah. also back. Um, Wrench is from so? Watch Dogs 2. Mm-hmm. So he's also back. So you're playing with them too, but... Uh, um, you can play with them in the main game as well. So this is like a stand, um, a standalone, like it's just a bit of DLC, like a standalone story. But you can have them as operatives in your game because, like, basically anyone you see in the game, like apart from like big characters that are, are like who are against you, anyone you see in that game, you can have them in your team if you do a mission for them. Which is quite good. Like, you can have construction workers. I've got a mime. I've got one of them people. You know, people that dress themselves in silver and, like, paint their face silver, like a statue. Like a statue, yeah. Yeah, got one of them. And, like, they have special abilities. So, well, like, good, them. Yeah, I do remember them yeah. being quite good. <laughs> the statues, so, say you're being chased, the statue can go around a corner and then it can start doing its statue <laughs> routine and the police will just run past. Or if you are, um, like, a caretaker can start sweeping the floor and they'll just walk past you and there's and then like you have gadgets like you can be you've got a cloaking device you have a spider bot to get into like little corners there's like multiple levels you can be on so like you've got the ground and you've got like on top of 
houses, you've got towers, like, because obviously it's London. Like, I've been to the Sky Garden a dozen times to do different bits and bobs, but I'm like, we should go there because it's free. Like, I didn't know this. Like, I was looking online, I was like, Sky Garden, London, oh, it's free. Apparently we can go there for free, so we should go there for free. But, yeah. Let's go there now. <laughs> so, um, I was playing Bloodlines, but then just before I left, I decided to install Watch Dogs, the first one, on PS4 because I just want to play it again because I really enjoyed I I enjoy all the Watch Dogs like I don't know what it is but I enjoy it so I've got number one because the number one came out on the PS3 and then was re-released on the PS4 um I had a look the last time I played this was 29th of May 2014 so it's been a minute since I've played this but um I did find that it was on my PlayStation subscription, like, mm. Ultimate. So I could have played it that way, but I just I happened to have the, the disc because I like to have a library. So, yeah, it's on there. It's all been, like, resed up and, and yeah. But I really, really like Watch Dogs. So, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play that this week. I'm going to play a, I don't even know what, 20, I want to say 2012? 2013 this game came out so it's pretty old but it's just because there is nothing to play there is zero for me you be playing fifa like i am oh, i don't hi. like fifa i don't like I've, I've tried hollow knight and it just drives me say i want try to try harder i don't want to try harder i, I do <laughs> games to enjoy myself not want to you throw will enjoy it you just got to get into the flow with it uh i i i don't have time for that <laughs> okay, because like I played it before. I really enjoyed it. I got really far. I got to like this underground like village. It's but all then I just underground, Dada. <laughs> yeah, but down. like I got past no. so there was like there was this like creature that would roll up in a ball and hit me and then I found this person who helped me and then I got past him and then I got to this underground Village. There's so There's many creatures village. that roll. I'm like, are you talking about them or them? <laughs> uh, oh, it was just know. the one on its own. It was blocking the way, and I was just like, die! And I, I managed to get it to because it would like hit you, and then you, oh, I just couldn't bother. Like you get near it, it will curl up, and then you couldn't hit it, so you had to wait for it to roll at you. Then you jump on it, and then oh, but that was then. It was fine. It's like it's lovely, like a lovely style. I like what it does, but I just don't want to play it. It's the same with like, I know, what are some games that I can't play? Um, Drag Demon Souls and things like that. I love mm -hmm. them. I think they're great, but I cannot play them because they'll drive me insane. I just I can't bring myself to do it. But I love watching people play them because they are really good. I just have you should, no. Uh, go back and watch my streams, and you'll enjoy them. I have a lot of painful, <laughs> <laughs> painful puzzles to solve. But uh, yeah, like I'm glad that um, I'm glad that God of War has now been um, got a release date. So looking forward to that. Um, Forspoken has been delayed till next year, so I'm a bit sad about that. But that's it. That's I can't. There's nothing, and it's driving me insane. So yeah, I've gone back to when games were out back in the day. PS3. Mm -hmm. And going through them again, but that's it. Yeah, and now I'm out of COVID, so I'm happy now, because I can, I can be alive. It was awful. Don't get COVID, people. It's not you heard good. it here first. <clears throat> it's awful. It's horror. Even vaccinated, it's just ugh. No, thank you. But that's it. That's me. So me. That me. There we go. Uh, Come on then, Pabby. Show us your business. So, Anna, you mentioned that PS Plus subscription thing. Yes, I did. It got me intrigued last weekend. <laughs> so I went and had a look at it. And it was like 22 quid or something like that for me to subscribe oh, okay. to, the, to the top one for the rest of the year or something like that. And I very nearly did it. it very nearly, because I thought 22 quid, oh, it's not that much. I was, I was like, but I don't want to play any of this stuff. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I don't want to play these PS4. I don't want to play Tekken 2. I, I, Why not, Pab? I, I just, I, I prefer Tekken 3. I don't know. <laughs> Which is, I know that, that um, like, 
stray when that comes out that will just be if you've got ultimate will be, will be free so i thought well i might as well pay the 38 that's on there it's gotten it like just under a year and then when it comes to it i can just cancel yeah. it's like you said i looked on there and i've like i've seen all these on game pass and i don't want to play them on there so yeah i totally understand where you're coming from it's like the the it's like the allure of like hey, oh, there's all these ps1 games and ps2 games you're like yeah, but <laughs> do I want to play a PS One game? Do I want to play this? Like, it's like not overly. But I didn't do it, and That's I it. just was like, it, it lured me back into turning the PlayStation on, and pretty much the only thing I've played this week is Horizon, Bidden West. Oh, I'm, I'm yeah. nearly at forty hours now. Put it into context. I was a, just over twenty when I started last weekend. Well, okay. <laughs> I've, I've fallen that, deep then. in this hole, um, mainly because I've turned it onto easy instead of normal. I got sick. Right. And I just, I was yeah. like, this is this is garbage. This fighting <laughs> stuff is just like just constantly getting killed by yeah. stuff or spending twenty minutes st like sat on a cliff just shooting, pecking away at the damage for twenty minutes. And just just knowing for well that the 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 robot can't get me from up here, so I'm just going to chip damage away from all the way up here for 20 minutes at a time. It's like this isn't how the game's meant to be played. <laughs> so I just turned it on easy, and even it's, it's still not like it's still not perfect, but I, it it's it's easier, mm. so much easier. Um, and I don't know whether it was like. I got into a rhythm of a lot of shortish quest side quests that I was doing because I still wasn't doing the main quest. I was doing the bits and pieces of like stuff that was there. I don't know if it's just a combination of with turning the difficulty down and having perhaps some shorter side quests that I just kind of started rattling them off and then I, I, I've excelled. I think I'm level thirty now. Mm -hmm. um, so I've kind of I've kind of like jumped up, but I still like. Each night I've been playing it, I'm like, I, I, I aim to like, okay, what sort of level am I, and what sort of level is the quest, the main quest and the side quest, and I got to the point where the main quests were lower than the side quests I was doing, so I've headed right. back to the main quest. I mean, like I said, don't get me wrong, I've been doing some because some side quests just do pop up, and that's, that's like some of them again, it's not all just plain sailing because I did spend an entire evening just doing one side quest because it. It kind of daisy chains some of some mm. side quests kind of daisy chains because it's like okay you do this and then you think oh it's done and then it, they go oh wait but you got to do this as well and it's like got to yeah. go somewhere else now as well you kind of like okay so I've got to do this bit and it daisy chains onto a, another bit of the side quest and another bit and another bit now it pays off because like I say I do I think you get like four another four ex experience points to put into the <laughs> massive oh god it is massive isn't it's it so many of them so many of them. Because you don't up the, just update it once, you can update it multiple times, and it's like oh gosh. yeah, 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 yeah. There's so many different things in there. It's like there's like six, I think, different different upgrade yeah. uh, trees in there. Uh, each with like twenty five points in to, to to be able to put things into. Yep. Um, so it's just massive. Um, but yeah, I it's it's kind of got its grips on me now. I've like I say I've I've pushed on to doing the side quest. I've done. I don't know if you yeah you, you did you get to San Francisco. Yes. No. Uh, I got to. Um, I got. Oh no, I don't. I did Las Vegas. Uh, yes. I've got. I, I've I got, got to San Francisco myself. I just know. I know. I've done. I've collected the three. Yeah, I've got all three, three of them, That's and now I, I have just, to go finished. and. Ah, okay, I'm, yeah, I, I'm that's what it's right now there. saying you've got to go to San Francisco now. Yes, that's what I've just done tonight. I've finished finished all the things because realizing that the the last one of the three is like level twenty five, and I'm like yes. thirty, and I was like, yeah, I better go and do it. So I did it, and in, the story's getting interesting. There's like the the, the plot thickens. I like the fact that you know, kind of at a certain point, you start gathering like a, a ragtag gr group of people with you and. It makes you want. I don't know what it is about this game. It makes you care about these people. I don't know if it's like the how photo realistic these people are and how well voice acted they are, and the story is pretty well written, especially the side quests where you're doing these stuff to get to speak to these characters. 
but you kind of find yourself well I do anyway I find myself caring for the like for, like have a invest I feel like I'm more invested in the game because of how, how good the writing is and the, the actual <laughs> it's, it's so good some of the characters like the Catalo the guy with one arm is like I was like, I yeah. don't like this guy straight away. I just straight away don't like this guy. And then by the end of it, I was like, oh, this guy's this guy's coming. Me, <laughs> this guy's this guy's my boy now. He's he's coming. Um, so yeah, I've just I've just like kind of enthralled by it and I want to see where it goes. I want to see what happens with the Zeniths. I want to see what happens mm. with 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 Beta. And I'm saying these things knowing full well that if you've not played it, it's not. It no mean, idea. Doesn't, it doesn't mean anything to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No spoilers for that, realistically, that one. But yeah, this, the beta thing was like, oh, okay. That was kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, that was weird. I was like, that was oh. kind. That was cool when it first happened initially. I was like, okay, I imagine this is the, the twist kind of thing in it that we were expecting. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, like the fact that you end up kind of having them around for a bit and it's like okay this is all right yeah it's it's it's, it's fun it's it's fun it's still like i say it's still really frustrating i find that that, that the combat is is not it's too hard and like yeah. i've played it on easy and i'm also playing it again on normal and easy is a lot e- it is easy basically you just shoot at it but you are missing out on like how to take these big monsters down but if you just want to just well, go through I'm... the game for the story just put it on easy and yeah just you should definitely because there's like there's like so many different options in easy as well it's like I've, if i put re uh regen health on turn that on so i was like okay so I, as soon as i come out of combat health will start coming back so that's fine mm-hmm. and then there's like different ones with like all different i just turned that on at the, uh, initially and i'm just going to leave that on but i've started like seeing like i've now got that many different types of bows and different types of arrows. Oh and gosh, yes. I'm now I'm now getting to the point where I, okay, onto a pack of pack of bots. Let's study what's explosive on these things. Mm-hmm. And I just launch them them explosive spears at them. Yeah. <clears throat> just just I just spam the explosive spears at them until they explode, and it seems to do the trick. Yes, I love that thing. <laughs> it's really that, that's my fail safe when it's like. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what. Oh, just just throw the explosive thing at them. That'll that'll work. Instead of just throwing acid at them, and I mean, which kind of works. So the, the electric shock one's not too bad because it freezes them in place sometimes. Mm-hmm. But even then, you do you've got to get them on the ground to do a critical strike. Otherwise, you hit them with a, you hit them with your spear, and it does so little damage. Yeah, just the a little tiny a bit of a of damage. A letdown. Yeah, I really want to like like if I'm taking chunks of these monsters off, I want to be seeing the health bar flying down and I'm ripping them to pieces. But it doesn't really do it. <laughs> It's like no. it kind of, it's like it kind of forces you into using the bows and the traps and other things, but because that's what the and game is. And you can is, only put three traps down now. In the other I think game, you can increase it after. The, uh, down at the bottom but in of the, the trap, first game, I would I would like lay like all of my traps out, I think or you like can, all of. Them. I think you can. I think there's something at the bottom of the trapper tree which lets you lets you look at it because I've been looking. At, I've, I've got like six points in the trapper tree because I was just like, I don't do any of this trapping stuff. Mm-hmm. And this is, I was like, let's have a look down at the bottom because there might be something useful at the bottom. And I think that is down there at the bottom where you can use more of them and collect more and craft more. And yeah, oh, so I think that's down okay. there somewhere. So that is yeah, something. Yeah, because three is just that's not how I play. I like to put all. I mean, of them what out. annoys me is the fact that you can t- you can literally I put one down in a bush next to me, and I'm like, okay, get a that's rock, and there. I'm gonna I'm gonna attract this one. Yeah, and then I just turn around and boom, it blows me up. I was like, "You are yep. kidding me! You are kidding me!" You sh- it, it didn't do not, it in the last one. It should not. It should not like detonate on me every <laughs> time. It, I don't think I've ever had one that actually went off on a on a bot. It's just me running, like backing up a little bit into it, and it just pops. <sighs> oh, so awful, it's awful. I um, but yeah, I don't know how long this game is. Like I say, I'm 40 hours in, and I do play it yeah, like, very str- yeah. strategically. I sit in bushes and just watch robots around and just pick them <laughs> off one at a time. There was a viable option before in the game where it says that, like, um, oh, you can kill these bots or you can go around them. And I was like, I could go around them. I didn't even consider that. Because normally it's just like, the, yeah. the quest is just kill the machines, and you're like, okay. And I was like, I couldn't have had... But it was, it was like drilled into me, and I had to kill them. I think one saw me and I was like, right, I've got to deal with him. And then I dealt with him and then nobody else saw me do it. So I was like, okay, well, let's just pick him up one at a time. 
<laughs> so it's, it, I'm enjoying it. I'd like to say I don't know how long it is now, but 40 hours in, I want. I kind of feel like I need to finish it now. Especially um, with that mission after you've collected the the sub, sub. I can't even say. I don't even know what they are. The three nuggets. Yes. Uh, well, no, Demeter. <laughs> That's what I call you lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, who is it now? Demeter, Afer, <laughs> and. Poseidon. Poseidon. The, the Poseidon one was good in, in Vegas. Mm. Vegas was very cool. I like Vegas a lot. Took a lot of screenshots in Vegas. <laughs> that, was it, that was very cool. That was it cool. It did look really good. Yeah, certainly did. Um, yeah, that is pretty much the only thing I've been playing. I've been, once again, the Steam sale has ended now. I've stacked up. I've, I've stocked up and stacked up on games. As uh, my email came through yesterday. Yay! Uh, my uh, Times Time email for the Steam Deck. So hopefully next week it should be here. I don't know how long it takes Yay. to get here. Um, um, once you've paid for it, about five or six days. Yeah, so it'll be one day next week then, I would have thought. I, I was like, I just forgot that it. I got the email a week before last saying. Oh, we're into the new phase now. The emails will go on a Monday and a Thursday. I completely forgot. I remembered on the Monday, like checking emails, and then it just pinged yesterday on Thursday. And I was like, I literally jumped out of my chair. I was like, oh, it's happening. No, 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 <laughs> quick, quick, quick. <laughs> but yeah, that is, uh, oh no, but that is literally, I, I don't think I've even played Fortnite this week. I think last time I played Fortnite was over the weekend, last weekend. You coward! I know, I know, I'm, I'm slacking, but we'll get back to it this weekend. That's fine. But that is it. Excellent. Well, uh, I guess we'll uh, wrap things up there then. If nobody has anything else exciting to say, anything more from the three nuggets? <laughs> no. No, we're good. <laughs> Excellent. Um, well, in that case, if you want to follow us on the internet, you can do that at MG UK Podcast, or you can follow me at Lelujo. and I'm at RB Six K. I'm at Miss Lelujo. And I'm at Fab1986. And we will... In fact, we won't see you next week, boys and girls, because this time next week, me and Anna will be smacked off our niblets because we'll be in Amsterdam <laughs> for TwitchCon. <laughs> Twitch partner party, party on Friday night next week. Don't know if they'll let Anna in, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see if we can sneak Anna into the Twitch partner party. So it'll be two weeks until we're back with another podcast, boys and girls. Little Pip. Have a good week. <laughs> Bye. We will. Thanks for listening, folks. You're welcome, Pabby.